Welcome back to the Wednesday video. Now today's video I am very excited to film because today I am going to be rating YouTubers Coachella outfits. Now Coachella Weekend 1 has sadly come to an end, but all the Instagram pages are not talking about no headliners, no, no, no. They are talking about the Coachella outfits, the weird, wacky, wild, unique, creative outfits that people were wearing um, this weekend. Now, um, there was a lot of cleavage, there was a lot of ass showing on the sands of Indio and the sands of Palm Springs, and um, I'm fine with that. Um, but today, I'm going to be rating those outfits for you guys. Now, just a disclaimer, I am not someone who is into fashion. I just wear AAA shirts with old navy jeans and some old school classic vans. That's all I wear. Um, and a hoodie, that's it. Um, but I just threw this on just to like, give me that, like, that Coachella look, like, hey, Hey. Okay, getting ready for the festival. Hey, this side, this side. It's not my good side, but it's good. <laughs> but um, yeah. So today I'm going to be rating those Coachella outfits for you guys, and um, yeah, let's see these crazy wild outfits. Okay, so we are first gonna start off with Ricky Dillon. Now, Ricky Dillon. Um, okay, so I like this. I like the whole theme of the outfit. Like it's all like blue theme, like contrasting blue. That like, it goes from like a dark blue to like a light blue to like, a neon blue and stuff like that. Um, so I like the top part of his body, I mean of his outfit, sorry, um, but the bottom part, see the jeans I like, like the shorts, the only thing I think it's a little too much for what he has going on up here is these little fringes right here. I think these little fringes are a little too much for him. Um, for the whole outfit to ties in together now the shoes are good because like if he would have to get like a little like a more brighter color of shoes I think it would have like really like made the outfit too much like too much color so I like what he did there with the shoes um, so the bandana everything the glasses I don't really know it doesn't really fit in with the theme of his whole outfit but he wore it anyways and he has it on his Instagram so can't do nothing about it so um, the glasses I don't like and the shorts I don't really like about the fringes and like the, too much too much rippage and stuff like that so this whole outfit rating from a 1 out of 10 I'll give it about an 8 out of 10 Tana Mojo my second YouTube crush first one is Gabby Hanna but she didn't go to Coachella but Tana Mojo did and she looked hot in her outfit. She may look a little bit of like a Tatiana, but she still looked bomb. The only thing I don't like about this outfit is her boobs. Everything about it, like the bottom part, it looks like a chastity belt or like a chastity thing, whatever it is. And then I like her boots too. It goes perfectly well with everything she's got has going on. Her makeup is like simple. It's not too much. It's not overdoing it. Her lips are not bold. They're just like nude color. I like that her eyes, her eye makeup is just not too much. Her hair looks good with this. Um, just her boobs. The starfish pasties look like they're squishing her boob. Like, what? Like, it's like, and even in this picture, like, she even looks like, she's like, oh my god, my tits are about to pop. Like, that's what she, that's how her face looks like. Like, she's basically saying that her tits are almost going to pop out. She looks hot. She looks bomb. I give this about a 9 out of, a nine out of 10. The one point taken away was from the tits. <laughs> Brandon Taylor. I love this look for, for Brandon Taylor. Um, it has a lot of balance. It's not too much color. He balances out with the black. He balances it out with the bandana with the white. Um, I like the fact that he added um, colored shoelaces to his shoes because like it makes it pop. I like his um, you know his neon green, yellow green shirt. I like the fact that he put a bandana on his on his um, his knee, whatever it is, um, to kind of like contrast from the colors, cause like he doesn't have a lot of pattern going on. Cause if you can see from the background, like this guy's like literally wearing stripes, and people wear like different patterns. So I like that because he didn't have a lot of pattern on. He added a little bit pattern to his leg with the uh, black and white bandana. Um, the thing about his, I don't like the hat. No, if it was not Adidas, if it was just like a plain black or maybe like a black and white it would have been good I just don't like the, the fact that this is Adidas on it because it's like you're not unless you're not sponsoring it then don't wear it um, um, but overall I give this a 10 out of 10 
Shay Mitchell. Now you guys are probably thinking like Shay Mitchell, she's an actor, she's not a YouTuber. You're wrong. She has a YouTube channel. So she counts as a YouTuber. Um Shay Mitchell, I love Shay Mitchell's Coachella Festival outfits. She goes full out for her Coachella outfits. I like the fact that she has like a like a bodysuit under and like she has like a like a uh, how do you say like a woven, like a woven, woven, like the yarn, yarn like, um, not a robe, but like a, a sundress kind of under it with like a little see through buttons under it. I like the fringes on it, like, cause, like, you know what's the thing about Coachella? I seen a lot of like Western themed outfits. Like, is that, is that like a thing at Coachella? Like, you wear like cowboy hats and cowboy boots. Like, is that a thing? I don't know. I thought Coachella was like just to wear like crazy fun things, not Western. But I seen a lot of Western outfits. But, anyways, um, I like the boots. Once again, Western themed cowboy boots. The one thing I don't like about it is her hair. I feel like because she has a lot of fringe going, like a lot of swaying fringe going right here, she doesn't need her hair to be swaying around a lot because like both of these things together, it's a little too much. Um, so if her hair was like braided, like maybe like to the side, like two two braids right here, or if it was like pinned up, I feel like it would have gave her a 10 out of 10. But for this outfit, give her a 9 out of 10. It's just the hair that's really messing me up on this outfit. My life as Ava. Ava is so beautiful. Look at that body though. Woo! That body. Um, she is so beautiful. But Ava, I love this outfit. I love, 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 love her Coachella outfit. Like. I love that she added glitter to her face, her makeup is not too much, her hair is not too much. I like her, you know, her uh, crop top, tank top, whatever, it, it's it's good, it's fun, you know, it's keeping her fresh on the desert. I like this, I like this, because she doesn't have too much going on, like she doesn't have too much jewelry. These are all just the wristbands you have to wear for Coachella, like you literally have to wear like silly bands. Um, but I like, the, I like these shorts, I like them. Oh, is that sequins? Oh, they're not pants. Oh, I thought they were pants. Oh, they're sequin. Oh, they're sequin chonies. Ooh, Ava. Ooh, Ava. Okay, with the sequin chonies, you better come through. Yeah, I like this outfit. I I like it a lot. I like it a lot. This is the 10 out of 10. My first 10 out of 10 for a Coachella outfit. This whole thing. This is like a perfect Coachella outfit. Laura Malalo. Laura Malalo. She is hot. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. She's hot. Um, I like this. See, the, once again, the Western is going on again. Um, I feel like without the cowboy hat, she would have done good. Like, I like the fact that her bra is not too much. It's not like rhinestoned out. Like, it's just plain and simple, slim and chic. I like this. Her bottom part is look. It's just like it's fancy. It's good. It's rhinestoned. Um, her, her jewelry is like not too much, she doesn't have too much on, her makeup is not too much. I like that she put a bold red lip for like all black. I like that because like it's like her lips are more popping. So Laura Milano, I'll give this about an 8 out of 10. The cowboy hat, I don't like. Um, without the cowboy hat, it would have been good. See, I like the hoops on this. See, the ho hoops go well with black outfits like this. Like, it goes well. Am I right or am I right? Like, it goes really well. Nikita Dragon. <laughs> Nikita Dragon, now she served looks. Like she served looks. Okay, be prepared because I'm about to show you some very, very, very amazing looks. I feel like she overdid it, but like it wasn't the point where I'm like, damn, she overdid it, like that's just too much. No, she overdid it to the point where it's like it's per like it's perfectly overdid. Like it's not Overdoing it like oh my god like ugh, just showing off. No, this is like perfect. So here's our first outfit I think this was day one. I like this outfit See I like the fact that her hair is more vibrant than her clothes because it's like, you know Her hair's trying to make a statement, you know, I like the fact that everything her fit her body her body is good um, I like her um, I like her her pants, her cut up pants. I like that. Once again, it looks western, but it looks good. I like her bra, her bralette, whatever it's called. I like that. I like the little ruffles under it. That's pretty good. That's a really good thing. Um, yeah, I like everything about it. The shoes are amazing. Pretty thick though to walk on them, um, but everything looks good. I like I like her makeup. Once again, all these girls, like, they didn't do too much with their makeup. Like, it's not too much. It's not, it's not, like, overpowering their outfit. Like, it's just, like, simple, fast, to the point. You know, because you really want, you really want people to stare at your outfit, not your face. But this is a 10 out of 10. This is a 10 out of 10 for sure. Alex Wasabi. <sighs> I 
I don't know what he was doing here. I don't know. He was wearing like, he looked like he just rolled out from bed and just added like a mom's bathrobe on over it. Like, that's what it looks like. Like, I don't like this outfit. I, I don't really like this outfit. I don't like it. Liza Koshi. Liza Koshi. She is so beautiful, by the way. Like, she has body. She's, she, she's small, but she has a beautiful body. Now, I love, I love, 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 love everything about this. The only thing is too much fringes. Too much fringes. Um, I like the boots, how the boots are, like, metallic and, like, her whole thing is, like, denim. I like that the fact she put her hair in a ponytail because, like, once again, Shay Mitchell, she had her hair down. She had fringes flowing around. Her hair was flowing around. It's too much flowing. So, I like the fact that her ponytail is not, it's not, like, you know, overflowing her fringes. Because, like, when the wind hits it, you want to fly like a bird. Like, fly, birdie, fly. I actually like the fact that, like, the jeans are used to like like straps like look at like they're holding like like they're on a hook and like they're going around her her thigh and she has some thick thighs okay Liza I see you with the thick thighs I'm a thigh person I love thighs I love thighs on girls girls with the big thighs are very attractive um, other than that it's good so I'll give this a 9 out of 10 the Dolan twins the Dolan twins um okay so <sighs> Grayson this is like, he's getting like 80s retro vibe. Like, I don't know about that. I like the Louis Vuitton belt. I like the, I like the fact that the shoes are white. Um, okay, so let's go to Ethan first. Ethan, I like this Louis Vuitton print pants. I like the fact that it's just a regular white tank top. Everything is good. I like that he only has one piece of jewelry. Are his shoes like rhinestone? Do they have spikes on it? It looks like, they have, they look like they're textured. Maybe they do have spikes on it. Okay, I like that. I like that because patterns. Patterns are a thing at Coachella, like hippie stuff. Uh, so, so like he has the Louis Vuitton. He's still you know, trying to flex on people. But then also he's trying to flex more when people look down on his shoes because they're like rhinestones and, you know, they're studded, all that stuff. So um, even, I'll give him about a, I'll give him a 6 out of 10. Because he didn't, he didn't, he didn't in between it. He kind of is like almost to the borderline where he underdid it. So, um, yeah, I feel like he could have done more. Grayson, I'll give him a 5 out of 10. Only because this thing, I don't know what's up with this blue thing right here. Like, what are you trying to get? Like, are you, what are you, Aquaman? Or what are you trying to be? Like, you know what I mean? Emma Chamberlain. Emma Chamberlain is so pretty. I really like this outfit. I like it for her because usually she's always wearing like these baggy baggy hoodies baggy pants whatever I like this because it shows off her body she's showing off her figure um, I like that her hair has those little like those little chonguitos with the little balls on it chonguitos with little balls I like that I like that her glasses is good it's studded because everything else is not studded she has like a chain belt going around oh okay she's showing tits on her pants Okay, see you. I like this part. This part, because it's like Coachella, she's showing a little bit of under boob, but then like it cuts down to like three parts. I like that. See, this whole outfit is perfect. It's good Coachella festival vibes. Keeps you fresh, it keeps you cool. Um, it's fun, it's trendy. So I'll give this outfit about a 10 out of 10. Last but not least, James Charles. Now, James Charles sparked a lot of controversy in last year's Coachella because he showed his ass everywhere. But, um, I think this time he was a little bit more conservative, except for day two. But um, okay, I like I like this outfit. It's giving me Matrix vibes, ninja. You know, it's not too much. It's not showing. It's not bearing too much. You know, too much. You know, bosom. <laughs> I like the fact that his makeup is. It's not overpowering. You know, it's just you know nice and like it looks fresh on him. He looks fresh. He just looks like you know just natural. Um, I like his shoes as well, his boots, it goes good with the outfit. They get everyone in the background like, oh my god, is that James Charles? No way, that's not James Charles. <laughs> I like this. So this outfit I'll give about a 10 out of 10. Nothing is wrong with this outfit. Now, if you would have had jewelry on, like a necklace, it would have been done. Like it would have been like a, like an 8 out of 10. Now day two of James Charles. It's a little too much, but um it is what it is. So I like this outfit. Why is he always showing his back though? Like I wanna see your front. There we go. Um, okay, so I like I like the fact that he put color. He added pop the color on his eye, pop of color, um, with his eye because everything his whole outfit is white. His whole outfit is just plain white. I like his his uh, his his eyes are um, look. There's a blimp behind him. What does it say? Is that Goodyear? 
Is that a good year blend? No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, but I like the fact that his eyes is just added a pop of color. Everything is good. I like that safety pin earring that he has on. Yeah, I say this outfit. I like the fact that, you know, his makeup is, is my favorite thing is his makeup. His makeup is just like, he added color to everything that's white, you know, because he didn't just do it plain and simple and white because then it would have just looked dull. And it, I like the color that he added the purple. He probably used his own palette, you know, at least you're an artist, um, no sponsored. Now, see, this is my favorite outfit he has on. I like this outfit because it's a western themed, it's it's nice, I like the fact that it's all beige and then he added like a pop of color from, you know, his uh, his uh, pants, um, his denim and then the belt, I like the belt as well, I like that his makeup is it's just nice and plain, otherwise, and then again he is a makeup artist so he knows his shit. Um, I like this. I like this about him. So, um, this whole outfit, besides you know the front fringes and like the whole jacket piece, seven out of ten. Okay, that's fair. That's pretty fair. God, I swear, Coachella, you see more ass than you see your own ass in the mirror. Thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to visit this, make sure you video a big thumbs up or comment down below. Any other videos you want to film, maybe take sure you should actually film them. But thank you guys so, so much. I really guys hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, it was really fun to make. Um, I love seeing all these different unique outfits and so many different people and stuff like that. And um, yeah, I hope one day I'll probably go to Coachella. I know I want to go to Coachella because it looks like so much fun. Um, I just probably won't know how to dress. I'll probably just wear you know regular old navy jeans and AAA shirts like I always do. But anyways, without further ado, thank you guys. So so much if you haven't really liked to be hit that subscribe button down below turn on the post notification on every time i upload a video every wednesday and yes thank you guys so so much and i'll see you guys next wednesday